Hi there! How are you all? And it's the second week of the Painting and Drawing for Beginners, VPA 121. And uh, the weather is interchangeable. It's uh, The snow has melted, so that's good. And uh, let's get some melting going on here for our first exercise, which is really simple. Now, I know some of you are still getting the art equipment, <clears throat> so we'll slowly start bit by bit, but not too quickly, because I know a lot of you are still getting all the stuff sent to your house or picking it up. Uh, make sure when you contact them, if there's any questions asked about the art equipment, that you talk to the manageress if the shop assistant doesn't know the facts. That the box of art stuff, which is pretty big, uh, is $45, and that the shipping should be about $5. So the overall cost will be about $50, $52, $53. Okay, and that, uh, you know, we've got people as far away as um, Puerto Rico and San Antonio getting stuff sent to them, so uh, hopefully it gets there. So that's it, you know, so we'll slowly start with the painting stuff. It's a huge box, it's got the two canvases, I showed it to you last week. And, uh, you know, it's, qu it's quite, uh, somebody was saying, you know, it's quite a heavy thing to lift if you go to the shop, you know, take something maybe with wheels or something that you can take it on the subway. Um, it's probably worth getting it shipped for five dollars by the sound of it. Anyway, so this week we're going to just start doing the face, but it's a very simple exercise. Now, if you don't have any sketchbook, just normal everyday uh, paper, like this is just from computer printmaking paper, will do the job. There's a sheet there, you can use that. I'm going to use this bigger one because I'm doing a demonstration and I know you want to see it. You'll need something to look at your face. I'm using this mirror, which I have clamped onto the side here, but you know, you might want to just hold one in your hand. Uh, these ones I get are made out of plastic because, uh, <laughs> That's the noise. I don't like uh, breaking them, you know, so who does? But uh, these are more or less unbreakable. And uh, what we're going to do is just draw your face. Now, again, for this first exercise, you don't need to do a lot of thinking or concentrating. We are going to do that later as the weeks go by we are going to concentrate on different parts of the face and I'm going to teach you how to draw them. Here at the beginning, all we're gonna do is no thinking, no concentrating, just enjoying. And today's exercise has got two components, okay? I'll explain those as we go into it. So just do a quick drawing of your face Let's see if I can get this thing and see it. Let's see if I can let you see what I'm doing. There we are. Yeah, that's visible. So, quickie. Now, I'm not actually going to be instructing you today. I'm going to be showing you. What's the difference? When I'm instructing you, I'm telling you how to do things. When I'm showing you, I'm just giving you a very easy exercise to learn from, which doesn't require a lot of instruction. It just requires you kind of copying what I'm doing. So we're going to draw the face. Later I'll teach you about the size of the features. I know some of you have never done anything like this. Some of you are pretty good. So we've got a mixed range of students. And that's, that's normal. Can 
see this thing. The trouble is this is going like a Coney Island mirror because it's, look at that, because it's bendy. So I'm getting my face in all sorts of positions. So just draw your face very, very loosely. It doesn't have to be perfect. And in fact, I'd prefer if it was not perfect. Yeah. So many of you will be fumbling around with this and kind of worrying and thinking, God, you know, I just can't do this. So if you follow my instructions over the next weeks, you will pick up lots and lots and lots of tips and it will become much simpler for you to create the basic features of the human face. So it looks like a human being. We're doing self-portraits because we're not obsessed with ourselves, but because we always have ourself around and we know more about ourselves than we know about anybody else, really. You know the all sides of yourself, the good and the bad, and that can come out in a portrait. That's why it's interesting. It's not a selfie. Because a portrait, when you do it, looks inside you and outside you. A selfie is just the outside. So, so I'm just using a normal pencil, everyday simple pencil. I'm not really concentrating at all. I'm just fumbling around at this thing. You know, and you don't need to spend a long time on this exercise. You know, five or 10 minutes is fine. So just do a loose sketch, get yourself down there doesn't have to be excellent, just as long as you get something there that slightly resembles you. Some of you are going to be great at this, some of you are going to be not great at this. And remember this, I judge each individual as an individual. I'm not comparing you to somebody who's great. I'm looking at what you can do and where you are and what you've managed to do in life so far and how much you can learn from my classes. That is the way that you'll get your grade. Get my pair of eyebrows. Yeah, you know, it's, it's really hard to see in this. Maybe getting these plastic murders was not, was not such a great idea. Anyway. Work with what you've got, not with what you wish you'd got. That's the recipe for misery, always to want to be something different from what you are. You can never be anything else other than what you are. Stress is caused by wanting to be someone different than who you are. And stress is always caused by wanting to be somewhere else than where you are. Remember that. So I'm just loosely putting this thing down. You can see I've just pumped that out in a 
matter of four or five minutes. You can spend longer, you can spend shorter. All you do is this, you draw your face like that, okay? No instructions, just do what you can do. When you're finished, you can use another sheet or you can use the back of that same sheet. But when you're finished, go to another sheet of paper and do the same drawing. But the difference is this time, close your eyes. Okay, do the drawing blind. Do you understand? Don't have your eyes open and try from your memory, from your mind, to draw the same face that you've just drawn. I'm going to repeat that because there's always somebody who doesn't understand this simple instruction. The first drawing we're going to do is this quick one off your face normally, as you would do a drawing with your eyes open, looking. The second drawing you're going to do blind with your eyes closed. So you're going to do it as somebody who's remembering what's imprinted from what they've just done. So you're going to do this drawing blind. You can't see anything and you're going to draw that same face again. I hope everyone understands that. So you do the second drawing off your face immediately after you've done that drawing but with your eyes closed. It doesn't matter what it looks like, it's an exercise. So close your eyes now, blind yourself so all you see is darkness, and then do the same drawing again. I'm going to do this really quick. I have my eyes closed. That's what you have to have. Do the drawing with your eyes closed, blind, not looking. Just draw whatever comes up there. And I've done that really quickly. It doesn't matter if it's a mess. The idea is to loosen yourself up so that you are not so inhibited and allowing yourself to freely express <laughs> whatever comes up. Drawing done in about three or four minutes of my face with my eyes open and then shutting my eyes so I'm blind, doing, trying to do the same drawing. Okay, so you can see that. It's fun. Don't worry. Don't judge yourself. Don't be critical. Just allow yourself to create whatever comes up. Take a photograph of it after you finish. The one you do with your eyes open and the one you do blind without seeing anything with your eyes closed, just looking into the darkness and trying your best to sketch whatever you can on the piece of paper. Photograph it. You can send it by text or by email to me and send it to me before the 14th of February. Send it. You have one week to do this. And this is called Eyes Shut Exercise 1, Face. Okay, so do that and send it to me and that will count for your attendance and for your homework for this week. And any questions you have, don't hesitate to get in touch with me. I'm always there and will reply to you as soon as I get your message and have time to respond. So that's it for now. Trust you have a great week and I really enjoy hearing from all of you. Uh, any questions, any problems, any thoughts, feel free. That's it for now. Bye bye.